My name is Pat Green. I'm a curator, and I did the most recent show at Mills Gallery, which is up right now. It's uh, standoffs and journeys to nowhere, and I'm with one of the artists, Jameson Thomas, and both the artists, Jameson Thomas and Richard Colvin, are good friends of mine who I've known for quite a while, and um, I'm glad I paired them together, but they did all the work. So Jameson, uh, what do you think of the show? I love the show, and I love that you paired us together. I um, have admired Richard's work for a long time, and when you brought it up, I thought, hmm, I don't think that his plein air pieces are gonna, you know, I, I, I didn't know what they would be like. And right. then I looked and I saw that it was all the violence, yeah. the, the, or the anti-violence work. Right. And I love the way he's combined sort of uh, techniques with the washes and then the impasto and and I, I got really excited about it and um, I had to sort of investigate what I had available for the show and it challenged me to take my work to a different place and so that was really exciting for me. It always seems to me like your work changes every time I see it. I like knew there's always something new going on. Yeah, it's all those personalities inside yeah. of me. <laughs> well, because I re I was, I've known you probably at least like 15 years or something. Right. And I didn't, for a while, I didn't even really know if you did art. But I, you said you studied art when you were younger and then you kind of laid off of it for a while? Or? Yeah, I started, well, I actually started doing photography a lot in high school with a, a woman whose last name was Farkas. And I loved photography, but it got me into looking at portraits. And I did portraiture for years. And I didn't um, have a dark room, so I tended to draw a lot. And I had a piece that was entered by one of my teachers into a competition and I won an award and some money and it inspired me and I thought, oh, I'll go to art school, that's what I should do. And I ended up going to um, college and thinking I was going to study art and I ended up shifting into business with a minor in art because I was afraid that I wouldn't be able to afford to live in New York City and my parents still had a lot of kids at home. Yeah. So I was definitely going to be on my own. So I ended up going into product development, which used my art, right. which was great. I drew every day in product oh. development. So um, then I know you went back to grad school and I don't know how, what year was it? Or? I went back in 2016 and lived the dream to go back to graduate school so and actually study you? art. What inspired that was probably my two sons who told me that's what I should do with myself. It's interesting when you have kids, how they know you better than you know yourself sometimes. Yeah. And I had left my job at the art museum and I was painting. And I started out with plein air and sort of moved my way through. And I had gotten to a point where I felt that I needed to break through to do something different. And I couldn't get myself there. And they said, why don't you go back to school? You've always talked about it. So. so how long did it take you to from the thought of going back to actually going back? Or? I make decisions quickly and I yeah. act quickly. So yeah. I decided I was going to apply and I found out that the deadline was within weeks. So I made the decision, I think in December and I applied in January and I was accepted in March and I started in June. It was a very and quick. You only applied process. to the one school of No, I applied to five. Okay. And did you have, um, were you excited to go to the School of Visual Arts? Or? I was, and I actually was pretty sure that I was going to go to the Philadelphia Academy of Fine Art. And the director, David Ross, contacted me and really challenged me on my decision to go there and um, convinced me to go to New York. And so what, what was the challenge? Or what? Um, he felt that if I went to the Pennsylvania Academy of Fine Art that I would be painting. And he wanted me to do something other than what I know how to do. Right. And he felt that the way to break me out of what I was doing was to look at other media and interdisciplinary and performance. Well, wow, that's interesting that somebody in that capacity would uh, 
talk to, talk to you about that. So yeah, and he put me in the most uncomfortable positions he possibly could, and got me into areas where it. I mean, my skin crawled at times. I'd be out in the streets of New York doing a performance, and it is not my comfort zone. Right, right, right. Are you uh, sort of you happy overall with? I was thrilled. The fact that you did it? I was, I'm thrilled. And you've graduated? Absolutely. Well, I'm thrilled that I'm graduated because yeah. I, I've spent the last two and a half years reading a lot of philosophy and art history and about other artists and watching videos and um, programming and seeing other artists. And I have just had so little time to actually create. Yeah. And so I feel that it took six months to decompress after school and then I got into the studio and actually one of the pieces in the show is a piece that I struggled with for a year. Um, I started working on it and I could not which, figure out where to go with it. It's which, New Frontiers, the, okay. the five foot painting. Yeah. And um, I started it, it's very cubist and I was trying to break um, my form. I was thinking a lot about um, how can I approach the messages I was trying to say in a different way and you know I, I work a lot with the interaction between humanity and the environment and that fine line between nurturing and, and destroying right. and so I felt that this piece was saying that but I couldn't figure out how it was saying it and, and so it was great to have the challenge with even this show because I finished that piece for this show. Do you think um, the deadline of having a show, how does that affect you? Like, is I sort of have always been a person who's inspired by deadlines. Right. Um, <laughs> it's, you know, even if I'm not told I need to do more work, I feel I have to do more work to make sure that I'm giving the best to the show and to the exhibit and to the curator and the gallerist and in this case another artist in the show and mm -hmm. when I looked at Richard's work I was blown away I absolutely love it and I loved how he was um, well his technique is fantastic and his thought process is 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 wonderful and he's witty and charming and I wanted that in my work mm -hmm. and I, I liked what I had done but I felt like I had to go a little bit farther to yeah. create a body of work that complemented his no, it would definitely the works the works complement each other, but uh, yeah, I, I I do really like how it, there's sort of a contrast that really works really well. I think yeah, really, absolutely. And uh, yeah, I I really love the show actually. I really and uh, I didn't to tell you the truth when I asked you because I'd seen some of Richards. I wasn't sure what you were doing now, but I kind of like I the past couple of years. I showed you at the Gallery at Avalon Island, and I don't know what year, about four years ago maybe or so? Or I think it was before you went to school, right? It was before I went to school, the, the piece with the rose, the yeah, flower yeah, heads yeah. and all that, I think that was in 2012. Yeah, so wow. Well. Yeah. But yeah, and I, and I knew that every time I see you, it's different, so I kind of was just, we'll see what it is. Well, know? I'm always pushing the limits and trying to figure out a better way to say what it is I'm trying to say. And, and graduate school challenged me to get inside the work and to express it in a different way. And so it was really fun for me to take the work from right before I went to graduate school, which I felt was beginning to get where I wanted. I was trying to unfold ideas. And um, I, I, I really was proud of that work, but then I, I, I felt stumped. And so I went to graduate school, I created some of these other pieces and I didn't know where they were going. And when you said journeys to nowhere, it was just like, aha. Yeah. That was the catalyst that allowed me to finish all the pieces that were sitting in my studio waiting to be made. And it was absolutely the connection between my old work and my new work. And I was able to actually produce it based on your title. So, oh, you know, it's, 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 I don't think a lot of curators realize how often they do that for an artist. Right. You present something, you present an idea, you challenge us, and then we rise to the occasion. Well, I, I, I've had a lot of people ask me things like, uh, so a show's coming up, what kind of theme? And I said, I don't really like themes. I said, I like the idea that there's, like I bring up a title like that, Journeys to Nowhere, Stand-Ups and Journeys to Nowhere, and 
it leaves it open enough that you can kind of figure out if there's it's not really a theme but you can figure out what to do with it you know? absolutely and i think it's like i think that that works a lot better than saying oh it's a beach theme or something you know like it's just whatever the oh i much prefer a challenging um clever title yeah to a theme i i don't theme my work um i know that richard like i works in series and i will do a body of work and put my heart and soul into it for about two years and then i step back and say is there more to say have i said enough and what can i do next that continues that conversation i started with that work but also takes me in a new direction and i had to look at my work all the way back to the 80s when i was showing in new york city and i've always been very topic driven um, what's happening in the world sure. and the work that I was doing right before I went to graduate school was not that and I think that that is what happened is I lost track over the years when I was only painting portraits because it's what I had time to do I lost I lost the message right and I think that coming back to the message has been so important to That's me great. and this is about you know my work is now it's about the environment. The environment is my life. I live outdoors. I mean, I am all about what's happening out there in the world and you know where I am living in the world, whether it's rowing or sailing yeah. or climbing or surfing or whatever I'm doing. It, you know, that, that the environment's important to me and the health of it. That's what I like because both of you, uh, you and Richard, both focused on the world around you and what was yeah. going on. And I, that was sort of, thematically what I like is a sort of a that made it a little more cohesive too that there was something that there there was social there was social commentary even if it wasn't always blunt you know so and I like that about the complement of our work is that we are both speaking to social issues very strongly we're asking questions and we're creating conversations and I I, I I think that maybe because he and I both come from museum backgrounds, we, we realize the importance of that. Right. And um, we challenge ourselves to challenge the public in looking at our work. While it may be beautiful and it may be um, well considered as a, an art piece, it's also a challenging piece. And I think that's a, that's, um, that's, a problem that we have to solve right. as artists is how do we make it aesthetically pleasing, um, technically excellent, and also ask questions and challenge. That was definitely fun. And um, I, yeah, I definitely look forward to seeing the next step too. I, do I, too. Love, I, can't I love wait. this stuff. <laughs> this is really great. But I, I'm really enjoying the show and it's a. Uh, it's it, it's one of those shows that once it went up, it even was it was a lot better than I even thought it was, and I thought it was going to be really good. Right. But I'm really happy with it. So. I'm really happy with it too, and I'm so thankful that you put us together and well, challenged me to do this. And I mean, literally two nights before the opening, I came up with these new paintings. That's great. That you know, this show has launched me into something new, and I have done now six studies that'll become the new body of work. So, so that's, that's exciting for me. Well, I look forward to seeing what happens in the future, too. I'm looking forward to it, too. And I look forward to seeing what you're doing. And I'm yeah. going to go on one of your trips one of these days. You will. <laughs> well, thanks, Jameson. Thank you so I much. Appreciate it. it was wonderful.